And we are back. Okay, let's turn that on. Just check my audio levels. Check, 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 check. I've got the mic right in front of me now, so I have no idea how this is sounding. I'll have to check when I get back tonight. We've got a industrial perfume dispenser, I think that's what it's called. Um, somebody's tried a home repair. I haven't opened this. I don't know what's inside. So we're going to take a look together. And uh, this is how industrial it is. It comes with a key. Uh, one thing I have checked is the voltage coming out of this is 17. 16.9. And it should be 12. So we're not going to be using that. That can go over there. I have got one of these out of a laptop. I don't know if it's going to work. But... Like I said, I haven't seen inside, so we might just be able to kind of jack off the board. Jack off the board. Okay, so. Alright, so this giant panel. Okay, so yeah, you can, I don't know if you can see, it looks like it's leaked in there. Can you, I can't see, I've got a bit of glare. On mine and there's a delay on my other video feed I, that's the best i can do anyway it looks like there's been a leak in there let's have a look i don't know if that's going to focus uh, for a second after it's going mad you can see something's happened there something's melted it so i have no clue what that is <laughs> smells good though smells good Ah, oh, where's my screwdriver, man? Okie dokie, I'm on my own, so if the customer comes in, I'll have to serve, so we'll just stick you guys on mute, so you'll have to bear with me. Like I said, I've not... I've never taken one of these apart before, I don't know what's inside. I uh, don't know if you have to take that off. I think these are for hanging them on the wall. Apparently, uh, the other technician said they went on holiday. Smelt was in a hotel. Asked them what it was, where to get one. And then they went out and bought one. So, it's not the sort of thing you find in the home. Okie dokie. So, we've got. Looks really simple to be honest. We've got a pump. I'm guessing this is an air filter. It's bizarre. Okay. All right. We've got a fan in here. Okay, I see what's happening. That's a really weird setup. Okay, so from what I can tell, it looks like the bottle is on the inside. That comes through here, gets pumped to the pump. The pump then dispenses it into this chamber through this. Then a fan, for some reason, Lee, where are you? There you go. A fan then dispenses it through that gap to here. And then that comes out of this nozzle here, probably on a timer. So, really industrial for what it is, when it's essential. So I'm guessing what happens is this probably pulls really slowly, so 
I don't know what the springs are. I'm not an expert or know anything about that sort of thing. But apparently some soldering's gone on in here. Um, just seeing if this metal housing comes apart a bit easier. So I can get in there. I don't think there's been any soldering in there. I don't know what the ha what's happened on the front. That looks like some sort of... I don't know if you can see that. That looks like some sort of chemical reaction. So... Okay, well... This looks pretty simple. You've got a power button, DC power in, powers this board, probably just a really simple timer circuit and power distribution circuit that powers the pump and the fan and you know there's some sort of chip in there that times them maybe looks like there's a mic I'm not a microphone it looks like there's a loudspeaker in there so the loudspeaker probably is there to alert them when the bottles get in low I don't know, there's no sensors going into the bottle, so it's probably on a timer, it's probably like a thousand bloody clicks or something. And then it will tell you to check. Okay, so let's take this board out and have a look at the board. And then we'll see if we can try and power the board and see if there's anything going on. This could be as simple as that power pack. is broken. In fact, I mean it wouldn't be a, a waste of time to be honest. It's, it's up there with the weirder things we get brought. Okay, so let's have a look. We've got DC power coming in there. Let's see if I can Okay, so that's interesting. Now I've got to work out which one's positive and which one's negative. So I don't think I'm going to be able to show this, but I'm just going to touch the two prongs here. Okay, so yeah, red's positive. So all I did was set this to volts, put it on either pin, and if you look down in the bottom here, when I touch the pins this side, it gives a negative reading. And when I do them the other way around, the negative reading disappears. So in actual fact, the brown on this is red. Looks like live. So what we need to do is find out which pin on this side. So switch this back to continuity. Postman's just coming in. I don't know if there's gonna be anything to sign. Okie dokie. So, positive it's And what I've done is I've got a bit of captain tape on one of the feet on this so I can push them quite close together. I can't really show you, but there you go. I've just connected it to the two feet coming out on the other side. So let's see. So we've got the power button on the back, and I'm going to try and get this to see if the power comes on. Okay, so we need to be careful, we're causing a bridge there. Okay. 
Let's like see. Nine. Anything to sign for? Um, yeah. Alright, cool. I'll be over in a second. We'll come back to that. Hold up. Oh, yeah, it's special. Yeah, I'm like halfway away from it. It's a little break. Yeah. Alright, that's our post. And that's the postman talking about our apprentice. can talk about him because I very much doubt he watches these streams. Even though he could actually learn something. But you never know. Okay, so bottom pin. There's red, let's try this again. I'm gonna see if I can try and isolate this a little bit more. Okay, so it's consuming 2 amps at 3 volts. Oh, we need to stick this up to 12. And we're going to see how much this consumes. And see if it's got a short. Okay, that's got a short. You can see how that's consuming 5 amps straight away. Whee. And it actually only came on when we switched the power on the other side there. So now we know to pull the board. So not a complete waste of time then. Can I get this one out of shape? I don't know if this is going to be too much. It's not a bad angle, is it? Mm. Impossible for me to work out, but let's get it back so I can see. Normally, it's a good idea to take a photo inside here. You know, if there's any complicated wire wirings. Do you know what? I'm actually going to take folks. It looks like these two connections here are identical, and the only difference is the colour of wires. And I'm guessing if you get those round the wrong way, something will go kaboom. Thank you, okay. Try and get a few different angles because the amount of times so I've taken these apart, and then you've gone, Where does that wire go? Or what's that coming out of there? And there's no schematics, no one's online doing these videos, you know. Okay, getting to that is going to be difficult. I need to think. I haven't got any right angled screwdrivers. Just seeing if this whole thing slides out from somewhere. 
it looks like one solid bit of metal apart from that section yeah there's no caps coming off so that's just being done up with a small screwdriver or a right angle screwdriver all right give me a sec Expensive, but you, if you think of them like computers now, most of them are like better than most people's laptops at home. So yeah. if you would have paid 500, 600 quid for a laptop. Which so. is really dies on this one, that's it. Yeah. Um, it's insurance. I was going to say, I would reckon normally we don't recommend insurance, but for stuff that's over the sort of six, seven hundred quid mark, it's definitely worth getting insurance. It's worth paying a hundred quid extra to be able to get a new one. Yeah. You know, and screens yeah. on them are really expensive. Yeah, because so. they're bevels, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Thank you. Sorry about that. Okay, I think I've had this problem before. I don't know if this screwdriver is going to actually work. It might do. Not look. 
Okay, what I've done is I've snapped one of these little screwdrivers. Okay, let's got that. You can get little ratchets with these attachments and that's what would have put this in but we don't see a lot of these to invest in that sort of thing <laughs> ah it's well fiddly Okay, I think I've got it. Well, it's got a little MOSFET battery on it, this house, which is pretty odd considering it's. Uh, such a tiny, tiny little logic board. Okay. Okay, now we've got that out. We can see here we've got four buttons we've got a LCD screen on that side and there's nothing else then we've got a logic chip we've got a couple of capacitors let's say what five capacitors a buzzer um, a lithium cell we've got two MOSFETs just here one of those weird capacitors I really need to <laughs> well, I really need to know what they are if anyone knows what they are leave a comment I know well I'm pretty sure it's a capacitor I did I did think it was some sort of battery but now I've seen there's a battery here maybe maybe it's not it's gonna be some special type because it's got no markings on it it's got no shield on it like these capacitors here I'm in no way an expert on electronic components so I need to keep away from that. There we go. I need to try and keep away from that mic. Okay, okay. Okay. Plan of action. All right. First things first. Let's isolate this board. Let's get rid of this box. Okay. So we got the box. It's unlikely the fault is with the pump or the fan. But. What I'm going to do is, we've got the ultrasonic cleaner up to temperature. I'm just going to chuck this in. I'm going to leave it streaming and then I'm going to go through the post. What I'm going to, what I'm going to do is just put this on silent. Hold up. Hello, I fix label. How can I help? Alright, Alex. Different amps mean? No, because there's um, you need a different program for signature boot patterns on those, and I haven't even got those confirmed. Um, the only things you can look at is whether it stops at a certain place. So if it stops at 50 milliamps, or it stops at you know 40 or 500, or you know.
the 0 0.5, that is a, a corrupted NAND. Is it giving you any errors when you plug it into iTunes? Yeah, plug it into iTunes. It's my feeling it will come up with an error. Uh, I can't remember, 401 or 4001. It's whatever error it is, maybe even error 2. I can't, I can't remember. I'm, I know that it's related to the NAND or it's stuck in DFU mode. Uh, but that again, that's related to the NAND anyway. Um, it could be a short on one of the data lines as well. Uh, either way, it's not something you guys will be able to fix, I don't think. Um, but if you can try and narrow it down so if it does come over here, I'll be able to work a little bit quicker. Alright. Alright. Alright, cheers, mate. Okay, that's one of the other shots. Yeah, so we're going to remove this lithium battery. Uh, I'm going to have a look to see if there's anything else on it, and we're going to stick it in ultrasonics. Let's, in fact, let's just have a look through the microscope. Where are we? Let's go down. Microscope. Let's turn that off. That's perfect. I'm going to also do a bit hazy on mine. Okay. Okay, you can see that perfume all over the board. You can see it like glinting. If that's water based or oil based or the oil is conductive, that's just basically turned this whole circuit board into just one big ground pane flame. So, yeah, first port hole. I can't see anything blown up off the board. You know, they look good. Resistors look good. Capacitors look good. I don't see the soldering. The home soldering. They said they tried. I mean, there's a bit melted there. I mean, did they just take a heat gun to this? Who knows? Okay. All right. Okay, I've just realised this has got an LCD built onto it. So, probably not best to stick this through the ultrasonics. I'm going to go with do not stick this through the ultrasonics. Okay, let's clean this by hand. Oh, I just rubbed my face with that. There you go, kids. That's a good reason to wear gloves. Because now I have industrial perfume. All over my face. Okay. I don't know how quality that is. I don't know if it's the TV I've viewed on. Because it looks pretty good on Facebook. Feed. I don't know. Anyway, let's get on to this because I am busy. I'm going to pop this battery out. Let's put that over there. We're going to ground the circuit. I don't know how delicate that LCD is. It might be the case that I might actually have to desolder it. Take it off. Mate, I know this acetone is like really bad when it touches certain things.
you know, it will literally strip the colour off leads or cases. It just destroys certain plastic. Just eats into it. Hello. Oh, yep. R red is positive, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, can you check the audio stream on live? Just because I've got, I've got the camera mounted right in front of my face now, and I don't want I don't want it to be like the inside of my head everyone's listening to. All right. All right. All right. Cheers, babe. All right. Love you, babe. Another DC power question. It's good. The other staff in the other shops are learning to use the DC power supplies to diagnose problems. Really handy if you can uh, learn how to use them. I mean, our general repair, it's opened up so many more repairs because now what was uh, just a dead board we now know what part of that dead board I mean you just seen there it's just taken off whatever makers stamp was on there oh. necessary I'll be careful around this LCD I don't think there's going to be a problem on this side. Obviously it's best if you've got the ultrasonic cleaner to put it through there because it's going to get into places this brush can't. Um, but for boards like this, probably not that much of a big deal. Everything's uh, huge compared to the stuff we normally clean. And there's, you know, these gaps here in between components. Uh, they might as well be cliffs. Okay, <laughs> okay you can see here the damage it does to those capacitors I mean I don't know if that's focusing <laughs> it's taking the paint off that look at that capacitor at the bottom it's black now it should have writing on it um, that is I think just a heat shrink shield over it so probably not the best okay we're gonna come back under the microscope now and have a look to see if this is gone There we go. I'll check that LCD hasn't got any of that on it. It looks like it's got a glass front to it, so probably okay. okay. Yeah, I need to clean a few bits around there. It looks like a few bits around there. And actually inside, you know what, I think I'm just gonna check if the short's still there, but looking at it, I mean you can you can see it here. I'm gonna stick it through the ultrasonic, so I'm gonna have to take off this L C D. Anyway, let's see if we've got a problem. I shouldn't have to worry about I'm trying to check there. There's not. No, it looks like just 12 volts straight into the board. Let's get make sure we're putting the 12 volts in the right way. Okay. Sound is good. 
good. Sweet. That's all I needed to hear. Okay, I thought it was that way round. To come this way round, I've got the minus. So red to the right. Probably just Okie dokie, that's definitely got a Let's make sure that. Try not, try not to touch anything. Yeah, 12 volts at 5 amps. Not great. Yeah, that there is still short. I don't know if you can. Yeah. Okay, so we need to. Take this LCD out, I need to mark which way round it is. Okay, what I'm going to do, because I need to t ask the customer if they want to go ahead with this. I'm going to just call the other shop. I'm going to end this stream here. And we're going to come back to it. And what I'll do is, we'll, I'll take this screen off. And we'll stick it through ultrasonics. So, um, I don't want to, I don't want to damage that screen. So yeah, we'll come back to this, hopefully today, so, you know, maybe in the next hour or so. I don't know if the other shop's actually listening right now. There's one person listening. Someone's listening. So, we'll soon find out. But yeah, look out for part two if you're watching this on YouTube later on and it's not live. Um, I'll list it as part two. Uh, as always, like and subscribe if you're on YouTube. It's always a big help for us. We've only got a small channel. Um, if you're on Facebook, like our page. If you want any repairs, give us a shout. Um, you can get in contact through the website. You can get in contact through Facebook. You know, you can call us up. Loads of ways. All right. As always, thank you for watching, and we'll be back.